intro. Today I would like to discuss related to the uh, how to grading in using the grade school. Suppose in here we have a uh, ten question from one up to nine in here, uh, and each of question will have a different weight. The, the weight is fifteen, uh, and the rest question from Q three up to Q nine seven nine seventy B will have the weight of ten, and if we sum all the value uh, the summation will have the maximum value of 100 so if we have only two so we will make the weight to be 50 and we know in here we have a rubric create the rubric in every question in here we have a question one with the positive value uh, for its corresponding uh, rubric in here and because the maximum is 15 we need to adjust uh, for the each part of the rubric if we sum all the value we'll have the maximum grade to be 15 in here it depends whether we will use the positive grade or we will use uh, ne the negative grade in here i create the positive grade in every attempt for question in question one for part a up to part f and in every attempt will have a similar weight which corresponding to 2.5 in question two because the sub value have a different uh, before is only five and in here we have a seven or uh, eight G K L. So in here we divide all to all the question and we will have a one point three five. And if all student try to attempt all the parts in the question two, they will cut the total score will be. 15. So it depends on the total score in each question. So we will uh, distribute the value accordingly uh, up to the question for every section. And after the, we know that we try to see for the progress if we create only part of it we can see the progress will continue and in here we try to review grid we also know that the time in here uh, if the submission is uh, exceed the due date uh, all the student will get the label the label is late because they submit the assignment exceed the due date oh, and after that in our case but we will not give any deduct for student that submit the value exceed the due date in here and try to click or select one of them for the student in here we have uh, around 31 students submitted for this homework and we can see in here the submission for its corresponding answer they can submit uh, in every question so that it will help us to create in our system here this is for the next question uh, but if the student did not submit for each corresponding question we will not find any answer in each corresponding of question in here uh, they only submit in the answer without submitting in every section of question for the homework work two in here so by knowing this we need to a little bit uh, adjust for our creating style because uh, we 
will get difficulty for accessing the answer for every question and then after we review the grid and submission for every page we can also request if a student call sub resubmit the page its corresponding question or we just sub uh, grid based on the value itself in here and we see some student sometime their answer is not really here we can zoom in in here to know exactly what is his at attempt in here uh, from here we know that the attempt for the part e part a part b part c and we can try to uh, go to the next page in here for few other another page click and then we can also zoom in again in here we get the value and then after that this is upper bone this is lower bone and after that we select another page okay it is finished okay still uh, we have a uh, different this is for problem two still uh, part a part b so we can see this is up to part c in problem two we can uh, know that the student didn't attempt for the problem three in here we have a problem three problem four problem up to problem question nine so if the case is like that so we need to consult with the instructor whether the another question will only be used for the training part and uh, not necessary to be submitted or we also need to submit so that it will impact to the uh, creating score for the student itself so in here after that we just go to another student and compare for their attempt in another uh, question whether it is same only question one or question two or they some of them also uh, try to answer for question one up to question nine in here after that uh, we see in here for the question one it is uh, clearer than before because they use uh, typing for their work using the word and this is for uh, t and e part so we can also zoom in this is for e uh, this is for f uh, for the particular strategy and then after that this is for question still f problem one this is for problem two we can see the problem two will have uh, many tabel to be solved after tabel we will see the corresponding question for the following tabel and we can see clearly in here it consists of question from A to K this is the answer for question for the problem 2 we can zoom in for the attempt of student and then we try to go to the next page for looking the other solution the student try to attempt in here and then after that we just examine truly in here and this is part E, part F, part H, part I how about part G and part K uh, we can check into another next page this is for part G and this is for part K after that we don't find any other uh, solution for the problem 3 up to problem 9 so up to this level we can uh, conclude that maybe part 3 up to part 
nine for the question three up to question nine it is not mandatory so most of them will not try and submit their attempt for question three up to question nine they only uh, submit their work on question one and question two so we need to adjust the weight if the case uh, for the mandatory question is only part one and part two i mean question one and question two and the weight because the total weight should be 100 we need to readjust question one to be one uh, 50 and question two to be 50 See. and let's we try uh, for the question one we will create uh, one student for this case we first review the grid select one of student and then we try to get the value because this is question one and question two we see in here uh, our question and this is the answer for the student from the student and then after that we try to get another answer for each part but still in the same question for question number one after we make sure uh, whether they have another attempt for the part e f so if they don't attempt for this part we will give the value to be zero but unless they make a attempt whether the solution is correct or not we will give the full mark for the homework because in the homework the total weight is only five percent and it will be divided into some homework we will have a three homework so each homework will have a 3.335 percent uh, up from the 100 percent and then this is question one for rubric we have a different value and this is for question two for the rubric because the section have a different sub part of uh, question after that we try to select the student answer for each question we select the rooster in here we select the name of student after we select the name of student and then we try to get the answer for corresponding student or we can also use the assignment part assignment part then homework submission and then we directly go to question one okay in the question one we will know uh, one of the answer from the student in here uh, submission one out of 27 so not all students submit for this homework so we, then we check our solution for the question one each part and then we try to click but the problem is because the total point are already 50 and we are now using positive score value so we need to adjust after that in here we try to search another part in here for the Hamburg submission one we try to compare our result using the question 2 directly because it is uh, not ready yet for the rubric we need to adjust the rubric itself so uh, because in here we also know the name of student in the first student uh, in the first queue student we will submit a holly then the next you can see after that this is uh, submission two. you can see Abdullah uh, Abdul 
Musid. This is the owner of the submission tool. And then for the next part, we can see for the previous page, we can see also all page they submit. Also, set view can be done. Also, this is for problem one. And then this is uh, for student one before. And from here, we can uh, zoom in and zoom out. And then in here, we see for the first question in the part A, define a variable that capture the number of unit of the main ingredient. So, because xi is the number of unit permit of ingredient, so in here we will uh, compare the value xi to the next value next value b c d e okay if something is good not really have any problem so we can just start we can just start it for reviewing our rubric in here in here we cannot select 50 because actually already full mark and our grid is positive so if we select all of them because they attempt all the questions the score in question one will not change so in here we can select one two three four five and its corresponding rubric in question one from one up to uh, seven have a different note change this rubric setting to be negative or positive in our case is positive the ceiling maximum is 50 and the floor start from zero then after we make sure the value uh, switch with our score in the bottom in here because uh, the score is positive so this is positive scoring point it will be added from zero if they attempt create uh, part A they will get plus A attempt part B will have a uh, 8 also so and in here uh, we need to readjust for the value for each score from negative to be positive because our grid now is positive scoring and we know that before the color of its rubric is green but now the color for its rubric is red so we need to change the value to be positive so that the color for its rubric has changed to be green in here we can see the color change after we change the sign in this value from negative to positive I change the value after I change the value uh, negative to positive and then we start to evaluate only one student in here and we can see uh, do they attempt do he attempt for does he attempt for all part in the question one or no so we can see part a part b part c up to part f they attempt all of them so they will cut maximum value for from a to f and then from the question 2 we need to see again question 2 in here so maybe it takes 
more time and here we see question still question one this is still question one because they attempt all question the goal is to reduce the total cost for month month diet plan this is ten for question one And then after that, let's move on question two. In question two, we have also several part in from question two. In our case, in here, we now see that the rubric also positive score but the score are already 50 so we need to adjust okay in here we check for the question 2 from page 2 up to page 8 in here so we see that they answer part B the answer also part C where is part C we can try ok this is part C because the question we can see this is part C and then for part D part B the attempt for part D part E Also part F, part G, okay. They answer all from part A up to part G. So because the maximum is fifty, so if seven multiply with seven, it will be forty nine, and plus one will be give will be given when they attempt all the part. So I will try change the sign from negative to positive in here. After I change the value, the color will also change from green to from red to green in here due to the change value. This is the change value. This is for the rubric five. There is no limit for each question. They can have many rubric in each part. It depends on our demand, our need to give student to break down the mark. If we want to break down many uh, sites, so we need to have many rubric. And because they attempt for all question, I will add the value. You can see the value is changed from 43 and plus is 50 because I select all rubric and then okay, it's finished now. Uh, we have already great one student named Holly submission one for corresponding question one and question two then we next uncredited so we will uh, have another uncredited student submission 2 submission 3 up to submission 27 if we have finished all student so it means we already finished all the grade in homework 1 after that we check our grading for one student by selecting the subject that already have been created and then we see in here 27 already created one certain so 1 over 27 it is 4% so there is a change if we add another student and be created so the score 
will increase and then check homework submission one and here also say question one is 50 and 3 percent and question two is also 3 3 percent check one out of 27 okay and this is the question one for from all 27 last created by the instructor or the name of teaching assistant and this is the score created so but in here the score is 50 the score should be 100 so we need to adjust it okay thank you uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi